Alright fellas, so in the newest installment in the Deller Saga, we found ourselves a little bit of a silver lining, and I'm using that term very loosely because there's no blessing in disguise in a situation like this where another human being tries to destroy your fucking life for seemingly no reason. Um, so it's not like it's some amazing story where he's getting his life back and then some. I mean, dude, let's be serious, he's got to rebuild from the ground up, and that's just that's just heartbreaking as it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this video because yesterday in my video, or the other day in my video I should say, we were speculating about how maybe he got robbed because he posted a video of like his cables and he was like, it just seemed like none of his shit was there. I mean, none of it was there. Um, but he goes ahead and clears up the air in this video right here. Yo, what up boys? A lot of people asking like what the hell's going on. People think I got robbed. Um, so yeah, I just want to sit here and explain the story a little bit. I can't give all the details for my own uh for my own safety, but no, I didn't get robbed. Um I had a virus on my computer that basically uh it's a remote access trojan. It was a rat file and uh this file could see and hear everything that I did and uh it key logged everything that I did, it jumped to all my drives, it jumped across my whole network and compromised all my uh all my computers and devices. Um this has been the hardest thing I've ever gone through by far. I never could have imagined anything like this. Um, but fortunately, I have a lot of people that have my back and I have a lot of tools at my disposal that have allowed me to, to kind of get through this. Um, I am, I'm actually really lucky. This could have been, this could have been a lot worse, a lot worse. Um, so I'm taking this with, uh, I'm going to use this as a, it's a, it's a learning, it's a learning process. And, um, I'm not going to take for granted the fact that I, I wasn't killed from this, to be honest. Um, the fact that I'm still here and allowed to, to try to come back and to rebuild is, is a blessing. So I'm not going to take that for granted. Um, I'm doing everything I can to make sure this doesn't happen again. And, um, it's a work in progress. It's a pain in the ass trying to work with all these companies and shit, but it has to be done. And I don't care what what has to be done or how difficult it is or how much money I lose or, you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do whatever it takes to come back and to get back to where I was. So there it is, boys. And uh, YouTube, if you guys can give me my channel back, I'm chilling, I'm waiting, I'm ready. I, I have faith in you guys. I'll see you guys as soon as... Now imagine doing this to another human being. I don't know if this amazes you all, but it just amazes me that a little virus, a fucking rat file, can do this much to... Can have this much of a fucking impact. I did not know that until I saw this video. Um... I just thought a virus would put like chromium on your PC and slow it down a little bit. I didn't know it could just remote access your computer, use your webcam, use your microphone. That makes me want to tape up all my shit and unplug everything and get like a $5,000 antivirus security system on my computer. And I'm not even a, I'm not even popular. Uh, that that's how that makes me feel and I'm not like an insecure guy in that way. I don't have any nightmares of some, something overtaking my life or some FBI agent on my phone but this makes me feel that way and it's it's pretty nuts that a file like that can just do this to somebody cost someone tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of hours of time just a lot of stress emotion and sorrow all because someone wanted to install so I don't really know how it works I'm assuming another human being implanted this in his computer somehow i don't necessarily know um but that's fucking disgusting and putrid i don't know how many women you have to be rejected by to want to do that to another human being um but it definitely breaks a world record in some respect i'm a thousand percent sure the guy who created this virus is a pussyless machine never had pussy in his life who is miles from it miles from it neck beard basement dweller we we all get the idea um but i'm just glad that deller i was able to get everything back into control 
I'm gonna go ahead and post some things. As you can see, he got his YouTube channel back, and he just hit 800,000 subscribers. Um, he posted a tweet where he's talking about how he got a bunch of his accounts back, and uh, like his DeWalt accounts, um, as well as he ordered a bunch of PC parts and whatnot, which is awesome. I'm sure it's expensive as fuck though, and that rat sure as shit ain't paying for it. Um, and then he posts a picture of all of his PC parts that he has. Now look at this. How the fuck did this dude get a 370? I've been on a waiting list for a 370 for like six months. Just waiting for some to become available. I know you can pay like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars because they're so rare. Almost every graphics card at the moment is like super rare. Um, but that brings me to my next point that has almost nothing to do with this video. I think I may be switching over to a dual PC setup. Um, just because, dude, I've had this Xbox One for like four years, eh, even longer actually, five or six. And it is on its last fucking legs. The disc reader doesn't work. Nothing works on this fucking thing. I need a new Xbox. And that new Xbox is just, I, I can't find it. And I'm not about to go through a third party person or pay like double the price for one. And it's like, is getting another PC, PC or upgrading the one I have now that much fucking worse? Probably not. And it's going to save me a lot less hassle in the future. I know it's the same thing with finding the new Xbox as it is with finding really new graphics cards. Like, they're really scarce. But, I don't know. That's just the shit that's running through my mind on a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, but, anyways, this story just brought me a lot of happiness. The end story, at least. Um, it was pretty heart-wrenching to hear the beginning of it. But, uh, it's a really good thing that he's getting everything back.